In this video, we will discuss D and C abortions. This stands for dilation and curatage and can be done from 5 to 13 weeks. Be warned, this video will be graphic and not suitable for some viewers. Usually, this type of abortion is performed if the mother chooses not to take the abortion pill or if she's too far along. The abortionist will insert a tool called a speculum into the woman's vagina to open it. Then he uses tools called dilators, which come in various sizes, to enlarge the cervix. He needs to enlarge the cervix so he can gain access to the baby in the uterus. Next, the abortionist inserts what is called a suction catheter into the opening and then turns on the suction machine. According to Dr. Anthony Levantino, an OBGYN who performed over 1,200 abortions early in his career before becoming pro-life, the force of the suction is 10 to 20 times that of a normal house vacuum cleaner. The suction tears the child to pieces and deposits the remains in the suction machine. In order to make sure all the pieces of the baby are removed, the abortionist then uses a curate, a long-handled curved blade, to scrape the uterus. Finally, DNC abortions carry certain risks to the mother, especially if pieces of the baby are left inside her uterus, the doctor accidentally scrapes too hard with a curate, or the woman becomes infected. This DNC abortion performed in the first trimester kills a living child and also can injure the mother's physical health. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications.